Welcome to Raven Silver. Please hit the notification bell, subscribe button, and the like button. This way, when I upload a video, you can already know that this is coming. Also, I'm selling sneakers on AliveShoes.com. Has Tattoo Spirit. Now, the thing is that I'm trying to start my own production as far as sneakers, and with your help, I know I could get it going. All I need is seven people to buy these sneakers, and I can start a production. You never know where we can go. Once have faith, you can do a whole production. Everybody have a job. Then y'all be working with me. We'll be making two spirit sneakers. Okay? Buy the sneakers video. Here we go. What's up? What's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are you getting it in? Somebody getting it for you. What's going on, people? Subscribe to my channel. What's going on, people? It is the day of another day. Of another day that we call Wednesday. Everybody being said, what's going on, people? Hopefully, everybody's doing everything as far as being safe. In this world, we're living in the knocking out doors and making your dreams come true and practicing ignore. I want to talk about something that has been a really crazy ever since June the 3rd of this month. It's been going all the way to the left and stuff. You know, um, I probably didn't share this with you, but June 3rd was my birthday, which was Monday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, everyone. And Happy a friend of mine came over and brought me a cake. You. Wait, let me a key. You see that? So, he thought enough about me to bring it. So, thank you, boo. Somebody loves me. <laughs> okay. This is the thing. So far this week, I've been getting told off that the bank and stuff like that. Um, okay, let's start from the beginning. Now, you know, I'm going to put underneath the blood pressure pills and stuff like that because I have to watch my pressure. Because like I told you before, I'm about to stroke out his mouth. But I don't know what Always tell me about this state. I always start laughing. But um, the doctor said I have to take this um, sign pills. I'm taking them and stuff. So I'm trying to actively take them, you know, and not drink and stuff. But this is the thing. So Monday I get to work, right, well I got to school and stuff, you know, been going back and forth to school and oh, what do I start? Everything is like all across the board. Monday I got my regular test from Mr. Google. I remember I told you about him before who refused to call me. He won't give me his phone number because basically he's talking, he got his girlfriend, allegedly, that's what he said on the background, said home, he won't give me his phone number. I shared it with you about the texting thing that he texted me through Google. Which leaves no number, like if I call him or something, he can't, you know, can't hear the phone because it's not the type of app. Okay. I know I may be late. Some of you like rate me so late, but I didn't know. Okay. So my birthday came in and stuff. That was on a Monday and stuff. Okay. So the lady uh, the lady inside this um school and stuff. She's an older woman and stuff. And she doesn't like black people. And we had to put a little game and stuff like that and she had to write down, you know, something people wouldn't suspect something about you. And she was right, I would never think that she was the kind of person that she wrote on the paper, I don't like people. But the thing is Sometimes people say that, you know what I mean, but they don't really mean it. She meant it. Not only she did, she meant it. She's a black Republican now. I don't know about that. Not all black, not all black Republicans are bad. Everybody is all the way across the board. But she's the kind that feel like black men should be locked up in jail. Oh, we got to an argument behind that. Now, me myself, I try to stay low key because I'm going to get from point A to point B. I don't want to create any friction with anyone, and that's fine. But some people do a constructive, um, what do they call it, a conversation with an adult conversation. I'm not that adult. I'm not that adult. I, uh, so she started screaming at me, stuff like that, you know. Explain to me this. Tell me, tell me. So she starts going to different things. I think it was a whole bunch of BS. She's just really angry. Now, this is the best part. She wants to be a school teacher for people's children. Isn't that amazing? You want to be a school teacher. And you have this much hate against your own race, but you want to raise children. Now that's a that's a question mark for me. When your children are the most influential type of people, so that you can you can give a kid a spanking the next minute right up underneath you. 
they are very influential and this woman wants to be a teacher I can see why she's down here with I'm at because she's just very toxic and then at the end of the day she came up she says I hope you're not mad at me and she touched me uh, listen if you're a Gemini like me you say what you needed to say don't put your hands on me because if you put your hands on me even if you strike me that's a hit I don't want to side your hit but I looked at her and she knew when I looked at her I said, um, don't do that. I, I don't do the phony thing. I don't do the hate girl. I don't do it. You stand in that. Let me tell you something. And I'm not trying to make my, my views be your views, stuff like that. But I'm going to tell you something. Yes, black men do a lot of things, but black men are not bad. Not be black men is bad. And the thing about it that got me was that you're a black older woman and basically you feel like black men should be locked up. Yes, there are some black men that do, do build really bad things when it comes to killing innocent people for no reason at all. Yes, I think they should be locked up. For drug uses, no, I do not believe they should be locked up. Robbery, yeah, you should be doing a couple of days after that. But the thing about it is that you're giving these, these guys like criminal, you, you, it's funny, you kill somebody, you get out less time, you do weed, you get a whole bunch of time. And it's sad because everybody black is not bad and I find it amazing that she's a black woman shooting black people down we all go through it everybody black kind of say you know I can't stand black people but it's not like we really can't stand them it's just we're mad at them for the moment it's not an ongoing thing with her she was adamant about it and then she started talking about Trump and then she started talking about she's definitely a Trump supporter definitely a Trump supporter and I'm to be honest with you I wouldn't be surprised if Trump became the next president again the only reason why I say is because there are a lot of black people that rock with him. There are a lot of black people that hate their own race. There are a lot of black people that do wish us harm. There are a lot of black people that will help hang us on the trees. And I find it to be so sad because at the end of the day, when you walk into that mirror, you're still black. That's self-hate. We all have a, some type of self-hate. Not everybody, you know. But we all have a lot of self-hate. We have self-hate means things that come out the right way we want to do. Me, myself, my head is too big. What can I do with self-hate? I can't, like, take a pin and stick it in to go down. Still got a big head. Then, I started getting texts from people telling me they're leaving me alone. The thing about it that gets me is, a lot of me get upset because I don't chase men. I don't chase men because if you can't stand with me, be with me, then why am I here with you? I understand you and your journey and stuff like that. And, you know, you don't want all this extra stuff, but that's fine. But don't push that on me. If I'm not what you want, just stand in that. Stand in that. I don't want you. I don't be with you. I don't want to marry you, I don't want to be with you, you're not good enough for me. And it's so funny because with me, I'm always being told that I'm just not good enough. Like, I'm just not good enough. I'm almost there, but I'm just not good enough. So I see another girl who who, who he'll go with and stuff because she's just in the reverse of two spirit. So the thing about he'll take her, but he won't take me. But he'll do everything with me sexually and everything else. But with her, you get the... I would say just a financial game, but they do a little, honey, I work for Capital One, what's your wallet? But the thing that gets me is that it just amazes me how you dismiss me. Like you're the only man that think that you want me. There are a lot of men out here that like me, that want to have a conversation with me. And I, I understand that, but the thing about it is some girls can go through the trials and tribulation as far as interviewing so many different men to try to fit their position. Mentally, I'm not there, I'm not there. So, I've been getting told though that some of them are on this channel, so I know they're going to see this video, but it is what it is. I'm just putting it out there. If you wanted me, you had me. You didn't want me because I did not fit your criteria, what you was looking for, because I just was not good enough, and that's fine. But don't call me up talking to those extras about how come I deleted your number, how come you don't call me and stuff like that, and then we're going to play the little games of you don't know who this is. No, I deleted your number. I cannot keep moving forward in my life with people who don't mean me no good. If you don't want me, guess what? You just don't want me. I have to accept that. It was a hard pill to swallow for all the activities that we did that I focused on. I was moving forward to your life, but I didn't realize that was just an experiment. I get it. I got it. I know it. I left. Now all of a sudden, you mad at me for leaving. Okay, that's one. Then the other guy from Google told me he's going to leave me alone because... He can't deal with me because um, I won't see him. He wants to see me for sex, and I get that. No, we're not going to have sex because the thing about it is it was a compromise. That's when I told you I met him. When I went, when I went up there in his class, he was right there. And I said, well, I'm here already. I'll just meet you. 
But you would think after I met him, he would give me his phone number. No, he's, he's adamant about keeping his secret or what he's doing in secret. Whether he's wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, I don't know what he got going on. He a killer, murderer. I don't know. But my thing is this. If you can't stand with me, then why you Well, I'm going to leave you alone. We're not even against you to leave alone. I don't chase men. I'm sorry. I just don't. Anytime somebody wants you, they make it easier for you. Anytime somebody wants you, they're always there with you. Anytime somebody wants you, it's like, hey, boo, what you doing? I'm going to come see you. They they want you. If I got to keep chasing you and chasing and some some I play, I play the dumb dumb. I chased them for years and hoping and ifing and maybe and babysitting. I stopped chasing. And I started looking, taking phone numbers. And I started giving my phone number out. Before I wouldn't give my phone number out. Now I give my phone number out. Now I'm making phone calls. Now I'm going on dates. Whether it's white, black, Puerto Rican, Haitian, Jamaican, African, I don't care. I'm going on dates. Because what you don't want, somebody else do. And what you don't think look good on your arms, it look good on somebody else's arm. And that's fine. Because you don't have to want me. Because I got enough, I got enough confirmation from women as well as men to let me know they do want me. So my thing is this, don't get mad at me when you said I wasn't good enough and the, I, okay, let me let just say this for the record. It's my fault, I did it, go blame me because that's what y'all do. You sneak around, you do your little shit, you blame me to make yourself feel better. The thing about it is, you met me on a lie. Half of y'all already had girlfriends, whatever the case may be already, y'all said y'all were single, you were not, you lied. And then at the end of the day, you're always the victim. The same way you're putting me through that shit, the same way you put your girlfriend or your boyfriend or kids can be, as to put it. I'm not trying to interview no man that wants to sit back and make my life miserable. I got the society doing a better enough job by itself. And I find it amazing how you're always the fucking victim. Y'all go around, you hurt people, you destroy lives, and yet still you act like you're a goddamn victim. Like y'all some fucking treasure to the earth. There are so many fine ass fucking men out here. Trust and believe. Trust and believe. And I'm not beat for one. I'm not beat. But ever since June the 3rd, I've been going through it. I've been arguing with people. I, I tell people, don't send me dick pictures. Just send it anyway. We get into an argument. Now I think I'm popping because I got offended because you sent me a dick and picture and I asked you not to. So now I'm the bad person once again. I ask you, we're cool. I respect you. You respect me. Do not send me dick pictures. I have a catalog of dicks from every fucking nationality in the fucking world. I don't need dicks. I have catalogs of pussy vagina. I don't need to see the woman's pussy. I'm good, okay? I don't need to see that. So I had to lay low and get my mind together and stuff. And plus I did those murders and stuff. And that doesn't help me with my blood pressure and stuff. But I wanted to give you an update and stuff of where I've been. Because a lot of you guys hit me up in the inbox like, what's going on? Why aren't you eating up? And, you know, so I wanted to give you an update in reference to what I've been going through. Remember I told y'all to share this video in reference to the black trans woman. Um, Denica Otero, 29 years of reported missing in North Camden, New Jersey, where she has been found alive, so she's not murdered. So, thank you all for your support and stuff and your help for this black trans woman. She's not murdered. She has been found alive and she's not dead. So, thank you guys for your support and your help. And my sister, we roll for you. So, thank God you are alive. Still fighting through the truth, still trying to knock down doors and stuff, and... Make things happen, as usual, and thank you guys for sharing the video about the girls being murdered and stuff, I really appreciate that, and also, um, I just wanted to give an update of where have I been since I've been missing in action and stuff, a lot of you been concerned, I'm still here, no one got me yet, it's not funny, but, um, thank you guys, um, yeah, that's it, I just wanted to share that part with you, since my birthday was June the 3rd, Monday, I've been arguing with seeing like everybody, and they're always right, and Raven is always wrong. It's so funny because I don't even argue with them. I'll be like, okay, it's me. I smile for I'm bothered. Anyway, like I said before, subscribe to my channel to stop this Instagram button. Hit the notification bell. This way, when I put up a video, you'll know that I just put down a video. So, I just want you to. Do you like my new hat? Anyway, I just want you to. I love you and thank you for watching. Kiss me. All right, now come on, baby. Let's go on Instagram. Like I said before, subscribe to my channel, the like button, the notification bell. Tell me what you feel about this. How do you feel when you find out that your own race don't even like you? Or like their own people? And then still, they are black. Like, we get it. We get upset, but we don't hate our race. We just get upset with our race. Comment below. At the top, there's Instagram button. You follow me, I'll follow you back. 
Love you. Love you.